Welcome to your 20-minute Pilates workout. Today we will focus on strengthening and toning our abs, core and waistline. So when you're ready, hop onto your mat or any other blanket that you have. Sit up nice and tall with your legs slightly bent in front of you. Hold onto the back of your thighs. And first, take a deep inhale, opening through the chest, look up. Exhale, rounding through the spine, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, long spine, look up. And exhale, start to round the spine, tuck your chin to your chest. One more time, inhale, open. And exhale, round, very good. This is a wonderful way to warm up the spine and get ready for our workout. And then come up with a straight spine and bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee and extend the other arm back. Relax your shoulders, look to your left hand and twist from the belly button here. Come back to center, inhale, exhale, bring the left arm to the outside of your right knee and extend the right arm back. Just breathe normally here. And then slowly come back to center, extend your legs, inhale, reach both of your arms up. Keep your shoulders relaxed, but lengthening through your fingertips. Inhale deeply here and exhale, lean back as much as you can as you bring your arms forward, pull your abdominals in. And inhale, come back up with a straight spine, very good. And on your next exhale, slowly rounding through your spine, bring the ribs and pelvis towards each other. And then inhale, come back up. Exhale, pull your abdominals in, relax your shoulders, come into your C curve and come back up. Beautiful, one more time. Inhale deeply here and exhale, rounding through the spine, lean back as much as you can. And then hold this position, relax your shoulders, keep a slight bend in your elbows. Inhale here, exhale, twist to the left and lift the left leg up as well. Back to center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the left, reach the left foot all the way up. And to the right, back to center, to the left, exhale, inhale to center, exhale, twist, inhale to center. Keep your abs engaged the entire time. Beautiful. And to the right, back to center. One more time each side, left and to the right great job and then inhale reach up exhale fold forwards come into a forward fold hold on to your shins or toes take a breath here and let's prepare for our next exercise fall back so you're going to reach your arms up all the way inhale here and as you exhale slowly lean back as much as you can and if you're just about to fall back, start to round the spine and bring the back onto the ground. Reach your arms up. Inhale, come forward and up with the strength of your core into an upright seated position. And exhale, lean back, lean back. And roll the spine all the way down to the ground. Inhale, as you come up into an upright seated position, long and straight spine, relax your shoulders. Exhale, lean back with a straight spine. And then come all the way down to the ground. One more time. Inhale, come up. And exhale, lean back, draw your abdominals in and round the spine, come all the way down to the ground. Very good. And then roll up. And lean forward, come into a seated forward fold, feeling a nice stretch through the back of your legs and your hamstrings. And with your next inhale, come on up into an upright seated position, extend your arms forward. And exhale, rounding through your spine gently and slowly with control, 
Bring your spine all the way down to the ground. Very good. Reach your arms up. And then bend your knees. Walk your feet a little bit closer to your body. And think about pressing the lower back into the mat as much as you can. Reach your arms forward. Lift your shoulder blades off the ground. Slightly tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale here and exhale, tap the left ankle and back to center, tap the right. Tap the left and the right. Just breathe normally here and think about engaging your obliques every time you try to touch your ankles. Beautiful, keep going. We only have a few more left. And now pick up the pace, go a little bit faster. Tap the left and the right. Keep your shoulder blades off the ground, your chin slightly tucked in and breathe. Beautiful. And two more. And gently release the head down. Relax your arms for a second. And then bring your legs into a tabletop position. Inhale here, exhale, tap the left toes down to the ground, inhale back up. Exhale, tap the right toes down, inhale up. Exhale left, inhale up, exhale right and up. Keep going and think about pressing the lower back into the ground, pull your abdominals in. This is a great way to tone your lower abs. And one last one, hold your legs into a tabletop position, bring the hands behind your head, elbows wide, and curl up, bring the shoulder blades away from the ground. Inhale deeply here, exhale, tap the left toes down again, back up, tap the right toes down, back up, and then tap both toes down to the ground, back up, and add an ab curl up. And keep going, tap the left toes down and up, right toes down, both feet down and add an ab curl up. Very good. Left toes down, right toes down, both toes down and ab curl. Very good, just keep going here. And always remember pulling your abdominals in and draw your pelvis and ribs towards each other. Never lose the engagement in your core. Both toes down and curl up. Left toes, right toes, both toes and ab curl. Very good, you got this. I know it's getting hard, my abs were burning at this point, but we're almost halfway through the workout. Left toes, right toes, both toes and curl up. And then hold it there and let's transition into our bicycles. Left elbow to right knee, right elbow to left knee. Exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, switch. Very good. Keep going, keep breathing. And then pick up the pace, right, left, right, left and try to make physical contact with your elbows and your knees belly button to your spine and breathe keep going a few more three two one very good hug your knees into your chest take a moment here to massage your spine catch your breath and for our next exercise, bring the hands behind your head one more time, elbows are wide. And then extend your legs all the way up towards the sky and bring your heels together, toes are pointing out. Curl up and with your next inhale, lower the knees down, open the knees but keep the heels together. Exhale, extend. Inhale, open the knees, keep the heels together and exhale, extend. Inhale, lower and open the knees. Exhale, extend. Very good. Keep going. Lower and extend. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale, extend. Inhale and exhale. Very good. One more time. 
Very good. And then release your back and head down for a moment. Point your toes and lower your legs down a little bit, keeping the lower back on the mat. And then start to add some small scissor kicks to the side with your legs, lengthening through your toes. Two, one. And then open your legs to the side, interlace the fingers, giving me four curl ups. Exhale, curl up, inhale, lower. Exhale, curl up, inhale, lower. Two more. And one. Very good. Release the head down, bring the legs up, and eight small scissor kicks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Open your legs to the side again. Interlace the fingers. Inhale. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl up. And we have two. And one. Very good. We're going to repeat this combination two more times. Bring your legs up. Small scissor kicks. Six, five, four, three, two, and one great job open your legs inhale interlace the fingers exhale curl up inhale lower exhale curl and two more and one i know it starts to burn but keep going you're almost there legs up small scissor kicks six five four three two and one Open your legs, interlace the fingers, inhale, exhale, curl. And three, two, and one. Very good. And for the last one, hold it at the highest point and add some pulses. Pulse up, up, up. Keep going, you got this. And breathe deeply. And then gently release the head down, lower your legs, and give me a few more scissor kicks. Maybe you lower your legs even further. Just a few more. Three, two, one. And then find some stillness. Keep your legs lifted. Bring the shoulder blades away from the ground and just hold it there. Lengthening through your fingertips. Breathe deeply. Slightly tuck the chin into your chest. Engage your abs. And then release, bring your knees down to your chest. Give yourself a little hug, a gentle spine massage. Whatever feels good for you right now. Just take a moment here to catch your breath. And let's get ready for our next exercise. Pilates scissors with straight legs. Hold onto your back of your thighs or calf muscle. And then round up, bring the shoulder blades away from the ground and extend your arms forward, relax your shoulders and then switch legs alternating the legs keep them extended and engage your core the entire time bring the belly button to your spine and switch switch breathe deeply here you got this just a few more and two and one hold on to the other leg and just feeling a nice stretch here through the back of your leg. Beautiful. Gently release. And then we're going to make our way into an all fours position into a tabletop pose. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Knees come underneath your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Press the ground away from you. And adding a gentle cat and cow stretch just to mobilize the spine. Inhale as you reach up, lifting through your chest. Exhale, rounding through the spine, bring the chin to your chest. Inhale, look up. And exhale, round. And then come into a neutral position. Suck the belly button to your spine. Tuck your toes under. Inhale. And exhale, slightly lift your knees off the ground. Just a few inches or centimeters. Engage your core, breathe deeply. Keep pressing the mat away from you with your hands. We will hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. 
You can now bring your hips all the way up towards the sky or ceiling. Come into a gentle stretch into your downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent if you need to. Relax your head. And think about creating length in your spine. Breathe deeply. And then come forward into a high plank. One straight line between your shoulders and heels. Come on down onto your forearms into your low plank. Elbows are underneath your shoulders. Engage your core, engage your thighs, engage your shoulders. Your entire body is engaged. Breathing deeply. And then start to tap one knee to the ground and bring it back up. Tap the right knee down, back up, and the left knee down and up. Right knee and left knee. Beautiful. Keep the straight line with your upper body. Do not lower your hips down too much. Inhale and exhale. Tap the right hip down to the right side and back to center and to the left. Right hip down and left hip down. Beautiful. Keep pressing the mat away from you with your forearms. I know this is a tough exercise, but just keep going. You got this. You're almost there. This is a great way to tone the side of your body. And then come back up into your low plank. This is your very last exercise of this workout. So give it your all. Breathe deeply. You are almost there and hold for three, two, and one. Release, very good. And then send your hips back onto your heels. Rest your forehead on the mat. Take a moment here to relax your entire body. And if you wanna stay with me, I have two minutes of gentle stretching prepared for you as well. So come on up into a kneeling position. Tuck your toes under, bring your hands on your lower back. Inhale and exhale, push your hips forward, lifting through your chest. And either come into a supported camel pose, feeling a stretch through the front side of your body. Or if it's within your practice, you can grab your heels, open your chest even further up. And if you are even more advanced, Bring your feet all the way down to the ground. Release your head back. Feel a nice stretch through your abdominals. Keep pushing the hips forward. Keep your chest lifted. Breathe deeply. And to come on out, bring the hands on your lower back and sit your hips down onto your heels. Walk your hands forward into child's pose one more time. Just take a long and deep in and exhales here. Allow your body to let go. Beautiful. And with your next inhale, come on up into an upright seated position. You can either sit cross-legged or on your heels. Just make sure to keep your spine nice and straight. And then bring the right hand down next to your body. Inhale, reach the left arm all the way up and over to the right side. And inhale, come back to center, switch sides. Reaching the right arm to the side. And come back to center. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick but very effective Pilates workout. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. See you soon. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot if you would leave me a comment down below and also subscribe to my channel because I post weekly yoga flows and Pilates workouts for all levels. I hope to see you soon.